Yeah, I mean, it's great to, to partner with AutoNation in this initiative, uh, you know, helping with cancer and these, putting the bags together for the, the patients and their families and having the players here a part of it. Just the commitment from them after training to come here. We want to make sure that we are a fabric of this community and we want to make sure that we are giving back just as the fans give to us when they come to games. So these types of initiatives are things we want to do. And I know maybe COVID is, has affected it in the last the last year and a half, but you know, now is an opportunity as things start to open up for us to get in the community. Yeah, I mean, you look at, it's a year of streaks for us, you know, and, and uh, we had a great streak leading into those last five games. And, you know, we were able to turn it around from early in the year um, under a lot of adversity this season. So. Um, I, I think we have a group that's shown that we can come out of it, and that's what we need to do. And I think that's uh, what Phil and his coaching staff are reiterating with the players. Like, we need to stay together, we need to focus, um, and take it one game at a time. And that's, that's the mentality we have going into Columbus on Saturday. Are you still there? Yeah, I mean, until we're mathematically out, I'm optimistic. And, and it's, uh, it's about what, who we are and, and the amount of uh, focus, concentration, work, tactics uh, that we have to bring into each week. Uh, and, you know, we'll deal with next year when we get there. And, and right now it's about giving everything we have to finish strong. Yeah, I mean, I think it's about there, there's some games we've created more chances than others. I, I feel we're a team also that, that starts to get momentum when we build some confidence. And that's what goals can bring. Goals can bring confidence in the group. And, you know, I've been part of this league since 1996, and uh, things can change like that. And, it, you know, we've seen it with the different streaks in our season, how quickly things can change. And sometimes it comes down to a few plays during the game. But um, when you're playing well, there's a confidence to feel like you can push forward and support an attack. And when things aren't going well, there's, there's, there's uh, some holding back. And I think some of that is a mentality and the confidence uh, that players have going into games. So uh, it's, it's Phil's job with his coaching staff to work with the team on the preparation for the games. And it's my job with the recruitment uh, staff to make sure we supply the players to, to help get our victories and, and, and achieve the goals that we want to achieve. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a process building a team. I was part of a team uh, in Seattle from the very beginning where you build a team, and, and I think it's it's one player at a time and, and building it in the right way for long, long-term long stability and, and success. Um, and it's about making smart decisions um, and also taking the salary cap into account. So um, all of that comes together, and, you know, I've been part of teams that have been the worst in the league one year and the next year won the double. So um, things can change very quickly and sometimes that comes down to maybe two or three players in a roster that can change the culture and, and the, the statistics throughout the year. Yeah, Kansas City, uh, 1999 we were the worst team in the league. 2000 we won the Supporter Shield in MLS Cup. And that was a, it was a change of three, four players they completely changed the team and a mentality that changed the team. So I, I think you've seen it uh, with teams also who struggle to get in the playoffs and can get to the finals. So um, this is a league that any team can, can beat any other team on any day. Um, nobody dominates every single season. So uh, we have to take that into account as we build the team and make sure that we're building the right way. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with the sanctions coming in the next two years, um, you know, we've had to make some plans on how we're going to approach things uh, going into next year and the year after, and um, it will affect uh, some of the roster build. Um, but I think we have a good strategy in place that we can try and minimize uh, the sanctions. And we have to be smart in the moves we make and how we build the team. And, and we have to be uh, smart in the way we spend our money. Thank you. All right, Chris, thank you.